Hey, what's going on everybody? Welcome back to the channel. Today, I wanted to kind of give you guys an update on the shop. Um, you know, we haven't done a shop update for a while. Uh, of course, you know, the whole process is, is still continuing. We still got a lot of work that we want to do, but right now we're pretty much where it's going to be for a while. Um, and just to kind of recap it, if you haven't seen my shop before, it's a pretty simple shop, but it's, it's really nice, functional, a workspace for me which is all i wanted uh because we bought this 17 acres and uh, we had a lot of things that we had to buy including this tractor you see right here so uh, we wanted to keep the shop pretty simple so we've got a 1200 square foot shop it's a 30 by 40 uh by by 12 foot tall and we've got two 10 by 10 doors um the company that 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 i ordered it from uh is called summertown metals in fact we're actually going to be doing our barn dominium pretty soon here uh, don't look at my redneck uh a swimming pool over there um, but we're going to be uh, putting a barn dominium right here uh that that uh, my wife and i are going to be living in so i'm going to kind of detail that experience going through all of that process building that we just got the plans done, so I'll have to do a video just on that. And I think we're gonna do uh, quite a few videos just on building the Barnuminium. So we're gonna have a nice living space here, uh, and Summertown Metals is also gonna do that. They did a great job with this, and so you know I figured I'd, I'd go with the, the same company because they were pretty cheap, and they just overall did a quality job. So. 20 by 30 shop here if you haven't seen it before let's go inside so uh this is the space you guys have probably seen it already it is a mess right now because we've got some stuff um that we're going to be putting in our storage container that we had from our house um so we've got some junk laying around uh but the new stuff that that we really haven't talked about is number one we've got this bait wall Okay, so the bait wall is a huge addition to this whole workspace in here. Uh, we ended up getting these uh, these little uh, slat board panels. Slat board is so much better than than pegboard. I ha used to have pegboard, and of course, you need to make sure you have enough space behind the board to be able to hang those those uh, those hooks. And, uh, and they're not as, you know, adjustable or customizable, but you know, the, the slat board is way more customizable. It looks way cleaner. And, uh, yeah, so we've got pretty much all our, our Z-Man Elastec baits and some of the like sling blades and, uh, some of the, the leapfrogs. Uh, we've got all of, of that set up, and that is a huge deal for me because keeping my stuff organized and be able to, to take a very concise uh, inventory of all of it is really important to me. Uh, so we got that done. That's a huge addition. I ended up putting my old uh, uh, whiteboard over there as well. The TV, that is a big deal. I just put that up this week. Um, ended up getting the the wall uh, mounting system from Harbor Freight. It was pretty darn inexpensive and easy to put on there since I already had the uh, the plywood up anyways. Uh, but now I can watch all of my favorite tournament videos on YouTube as I'm working on tackle, and to me that's a big deal. Um, another thing that we added recently was this refrigerator. So now we've got a, uh, a drink fridge in here, bought that used. Uh, so shout out to the person that sold that to me. Uh, I did throw my back out getting this into the shop and it, we're getting it into the truck to put it in here. Uh, that was about a month and a half ago and I've had since had to go to the chiropractor. So this has been a pretty uh, expensive fridge overall, but I love it. I'm so glad that I got that. Uh, got a lot of, you know, my venison and, uh, and, you know, meat in here. And then I, you know, put all kinds of cold beverages in there. We also got a hot water heater installed. I'm going to end up using this hot water heater for the barn dominium as well, because we really don't, you know, use it, uh, all that much in here in the shop. We do have the shop sink, which is, uh, I think an absolute must in the shop, um, so that is super nice to be able to wash my hands and, and to wash all my, my cups and stuff. Cause 
Another addition, my coffee maker in here is a big deal. I need my caffeine in the morning. So this has been a really, really clutch, um, you know, piece of equipment in this deal. And as you can see, this is where we do all of our laundry. So yeah, this is a whole new little, uh, little uh, workspace in here for our laundry, being able to have the shop sink, and then we got the fridge. Eventually, what I wanna do is get an ice maker, like a real legit commercial ice maker that I can just essentially every morning I go fishing, just scoop it into a bucket and put it into the, the cooler on the, on the Phoenix. So that is what we're gonna do someday. Those run about 500, to 750 bucks. So that's a, a, a something for the list later on down the road. Uh, I think the next big thing in the shop that I want to do is insulate it and get some AC in here because I have found that it is super, super hot. Uh, it does reflect pretty good. We've got that like real thin insulation that, that um, you know, uh, Summertown Metals put on that is more for you know just reflecting some of the 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 uh temperatures from outside but also mostly to to kind of keep the dripping down because a metal building does tend to to build up condensation and you don't want it dripping everywhere um but yeah we want to insulate the walls frame out the walls insulate them and then end up putting like some kind of ac or or um uh, heating and air system in here. I'm thinking a mini split. Uh, we're going to end up doing for the barn dominium. Uh, I think we're going to do a bunch of different mini splits uh, in that whole building. And I think we're going to do the same thing in here. We just need something that keeps it kind of cool. I did get a uh, fan, a shop fan again from Harbor Freight. I love Harbor Freight. Uh, they just, you know, I, I love going in there buying stuff but we got the we got the fan it definitely does help but it's mostly just pushing hot air around which again does help but uh I, I i would like to be able to come in here and really be excited about working in the shop uh in the in the heat of the summer during the winter time i feel just fine in the in the shop i spent some time when it was colder and you know you just put some extra clothes on and it's not bad at all uh, but in the heat of summer, when we've got 90 degree temperatures, it's been kind of hard in here. But, uh, anyways, I think that's pretty much it. I mean, we've, we've done a lot in here. It's very, very functional. It just needs to be cleaned up is all right now. Uh, but it's, it's been a really good workspace in general. We've got some things to do. I really want to hear your guys' feedback, what you think I should do in here. But anyways, thank you guys for watching. Let me know what you think about the shop and what you think I might need to add to it. And uh, yeah, thank you guys for watching. I'm going to see you out on the water or here in the shop.